How we doing, YouTubers? Battlebox 49, back to basics. Definitely came late. Please like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. As soon as I hit my first 100 subscribers, do a free giveaway, maybe some Battlebox stuff, maybe a Snap-on thing, maybe some Cornwell tool stuff. Uh, please let me know what y'all think. Have a good day. Alright, how we doing everybody? <clears throat> Battle box. Mission 49. Very late box. Uh, let's go ahead and get on into it. Here. Got a nice uh, Glock 81 survival knife. Go ahead and open her up. Shoot for the Glock Shooting Sports Foundation. Won this in a raffle. It's a decently nice knife. see what we got inside this month for the battle box. Good look on Glock for making a nice knife. Good knife, good guns. And always, mission card. That's definitely a good thing to have there see what we get and how much money we supposedly uh, save or don't save. I don't know how they expect anybody to read the white on black there. That's just a big blur vision, but all right. Mission 49, back to basics. See what it is. Slide this stuff down and out of the way here. Slide that over. First up, <clears throat> we have the Be Smart Get Prepared First Aid Kit. Go ahead and get that checked out here. So we got the Outdoors Camping Hiking First Aid 132 piece kit. Nice little pouch. Go ahead and open her up here. Let's see what we got inside. Nice, got a nice little zip tie there. Go ahead and pop this little bugger off so we can actually open it up and see what we got in here. Well, should have probably done that. First of all, a nice little pouch, nice little zippers. And Decent looking. Looks like it'll hold up a little bit. A little fold out bag there. A nice little detachable pocket. Go ahead and get in here and see what we got here. First aid guide, cold compress, nice Marli blanket. I guess you always got to have one of those. Emergency warrants. It's like we got a bunch of gauze and different size gauze pouches, all your goodies. It's actually a nice little bit of gauze. Most of these places, you know, they just give you a bunch of little itty bitty band-aids. And if you actually have a big cut, a little itty bitty band-aid ain't going to do you much. Some gauze and a nice roll of tape will do you a lot better than a bunch of little itty bitty band-aids. Let's see what else we got here. Some tongue depressors. You need to have that tongue pushed down, a seizure or something like that. Some Q-tips, got something in your eye, your ear, whatnot, clean some stuff out. Oh, oh, plastic pair of tweezers, don't know how good they'll do, but uh, it's always nice to have some little tweezers in case you got to pull out a sliver or pull something up on out of you. Uh, gloves, gloves are always good if you're helping someone or yourself try to stay uh, clean and safe. You don't want to catch nobody else's cooties. All right, and in the pile here, it looks like a bunch of ointments and wipes and sterile pads and creams. A good amount of stuff. Not bad. Yeah, so, nice little packet of stuff back in there. What else we got in there? Yeah, looks like a little roll of tape, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, nice little roll of surgical tape, which that's great to go with the gauze right there. You can cover up just about anything, uh, anything minor. All right, let's get on to this. Let's see what we got in our little, little pouch here. 
Oh, we got some little band aids. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Got a good amount of stuff. Some burn creams, all that good stuff. Oh, I got there. Insect. Good amount of stuff in this nice little kit here, even though I done dropped half it on the floor, but you know, it's all good. Some aspirins, some non aspirins, stuff for a quick little headache, maybe little aches and pains. Poison ivy stuff. I got a lot of that in my backyard here in Michigan. You go out there, you better be ready. Alright, well, as far as a little first aid kit goes, I've never bought one. I kind of made my own. Looks like a Decent little first aid kit. We got a couple kids, so that's something to be good. We'll go right in the car, take it to the park, all your good stuff. You can take care of most anything. All right. Let's go ahead and move some of this stuff on out of the way. Let's see what else we got here waiting on. Them. All right. Next up Zippo Typhoon Matches. That's a pretty big canister there, matches. Zippo Typhoon matches, waterproof, dirtproof, windproof. Looks like you can't put these things out. We'll have to get a cup of water and some dirt and uh, go from there. Looks like you get about 15 matches. We'll pop those open and uh, see what they do. Zippo Typhoon matches, they got those on here. Eleven ninety five. All right. Well, we'll pop those open and run them through a test and uh, see how good the Zippo Typhoon matches do against the water, the dirt, and the wind. All right. We'll sit those over here for a second. up these typhoons here and see uh, if we can get this packaging open. Jeez almighty. They do not think you're stealing these things. I'll tell you what. Nice little pack there and your matches keeping them nice and dry. Striker top got some instructions right here. A couple extra striker pads. Set those back there. They say the container's waterproof and all that fun stuff. We're gonna go ahead and uh, see if these bad boys are waterproof and dirt proof like they say they are. So let's see. He's going. And wow, that is stinky. Don't do this in the house. Jeez almighty, that'll mess you up. That is pretty crazy. Too low for the dirt. We'll light another one, but yeah. I ain't very good at starting a fire, but... If you had these, there should be no reason why you cannot start a fire. That boy's burning in the water. And they stink like god awful ridiculous. Alright, Typhoon. Let's try one more. See if it stays going in the dirt. Everybody knows you put a match in the dirt, usually put a match right out for you. All I had was plastic cups, so let's hope I don't melt the cup down, but yeah. You put that in the dirt, and that ain't going out. We'll try some water, some dirt, more water, more dirt. And she is still going. 
It's got that sparkler smell. Nice softer for you. Zippo Typhoon matches. Those should definitely go in a book bag, bug out bag, hiking bag, camping bag. You could definitely start a fire with that bad boy. Dry conditions, you got no reason, no complaints. All right, Zippo Typhoon. I'd say those work out pretty well. Very stinky, but you should get a fire going. All right, last but not least for the basic box, Scout Organic Roasted Pumpkin Seeds. I'm particular, particularly not a big fan of the foods in the boxes. I guess, you know, it goes along with survival, outdoors, whatnot, but I think most people like to pick their own foods because everybody's palate's not the same. Some people might like these, some people might dislike these. Uh, so I'll go ahead and throw those in the don't like pile more of a filler item in the box Just throw it in there to have something is what it seems, but uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think some people might like these All right On to the advanced box battle tech bubby poncho liner blanket sleeping bag Go ahead and check this dude out and see what he's all about <clears throat> battle tack bubby check the bubby out feels like a nice little you know, water resistant fabric keep it dry so this all will probably not fit in the camera angle so I'll do another shot inside of the full bubby but it definitely is like a sleeping bag got zippers unzips all the way looks fairly long takes up my whole table and keeps going so when I get in the house we will check it out and have more space and see how big the bubby is but it feels nice, feels decent, thick, weather resistant. Uh, zippers feel like a nice coat zipper maybe, not much thicker, nice tent zipper. Looks like it's got a couple tie downs in case you want to put it over something, shelter, tie it up, whatever. You can give those a good yank there on there so it should hold up fairly well. But the Battle Tack Bubby, that'll definitely go in my bug out bag for my... Uh, Mummy bag, something to have as a liner or underneath, or in the tent, something along those lines. But we'll definitely check out the bubby and see how uh, how warm it is. On to the pro box, Rascal Survive 55 Takedown Bow. Give it a look and see what it is. All right, bubby, I'll put you back. some coupons or some instructions for the bow all right shows you what to do what not to do for the rascal 55 takedown shoulder there carry it with you quiver let's see if we can do this right we got our two sleeves here arrows quiver bag sit that up in here see if we can slide this little dude together here like they got all the arrows you know nicely so they're not bent up shoved inside your stuff there well feathers are a little bent up they're rubber but for what it is we'll have to take it out back and 
see how it shoots. I'm not very good with a bow, so you guys get to see how uh, not good I am. All right. All screw together, set those to the side. See if we can get this thing in here. So, wanna slide your notched ends down inside to your nice spot there where they line up. So there's part of that. Looks like that's the rest I'll have to put on later. So uh, see if I can move my camera and step back and slide this stuff together. Sorry about the sunlight. See if we can do this now. <clears throat> All right, so you got your first piece down there on your bow with your string. Go ahead and put that on your shoe or the ground, whatever you want. Step through the bow. Use the side of your leg to push the bow down and flex it so you can get your other end of your uh, string on there. So flex the bow down. Get your string on there and make sure it's sitting on your notches. Step through. And there is your bow. Got to put my uh, little guide on there. Take it out back and shoot it a couple times and uh, see how I do with no sights. Do not do very good with sights, so I don't think I'm going to do well without sights. So there's the... Survive 55 takedown bow, rascal. All right. Now for the arrows here. They just say, screw them together. Tighten them up good. Tighten your plastic, plastic uh, practice tips up. And there is your arrow for your Survive 55 takedown bow. And you get three arrows total. And those all just screw together, tighten them up real good. Don't want your arrows going flying sideways or something. All right, so that's the end of the Rascal. 55 pound takedown. See if I can hit anything with this bow. Definitely take a little bit to get used to with this here with no sights and I'm not a good shot anyways. Not a horrible bow. Something in your bag, man. I'm gonna survive. It'd be all right. All right. Last up in the Pro Plus box, Bastion Baron Brass Bolster. Check out the Bastion Baron. Nice little box there. Set that off to the side. I'll pop you open. I am not giant into knives, but since getting the battle boxes, I'm growing more fond of them. A little oily residue on it. Looks like a flipper. Knife, knife, nice knife. Got some nice, nice look on the blade there. 
don't know if my camera will actually focus in on that, but there it goes. That is nice. Carbon fiber. Mm -hmm. Very nice looking knife. And that is uh, pretty sturdy. There is no play in the knife whatsoever. Got a nice sharp blade on it. Looks like a nice, decent knife. Lock up, just a regular finger push lock up. But that is a that is a slick little knife. I'm gonna have to grab a piece of paper and uh, that's a stiff flip out, especially with all the oil. Grab a piece of paper and see how sharp it is. Nice low profile uh, thing there for your belt loop inside your pants, whatever you want. The lockup is nice on the knife though. And that, that detailing is just fancy. flip this open and see how she does with a piece of paper here. Ooh, might have been my fault. Like I said, not the greatest with knives. Seems to be <laughs> fairly sharp. You can grab your finger with that, you're going to know it. So yeah, fast and barren. Forgot what that's called. Like I said, not big into knives, and I can't really read the back of the card because it is blurry as all get out. But I guess no two knives have the same, or no one knife has the same blade as far as this uh, this style here from how they do it. Everyone's different, so that is kind of cool. A little recessed in there. I like the knife. Not a bad knife. I'll keep getting battle boxes and. Please like, subscribe, comment, uh, let me know what's up. First 100 subscribers are going to do a Battle Box giveaway as far as something from Battle Box or something from Snap-on, maybe Cornwell. I got some tool stuff around. Uh, let me know what you think. Y'all have a good one.